Well, today we're looking at another Ravensburger board game, and this time it's Alien Fate of the Nostromo. Um, so, this has come out today. It's come out a bit early. I think it was due out on the 10th, but uh, it's been delivered a little bit early. And so, this is based on the uh, absolutely classic 1979 film Alien by Ridley Scott. And uh, this is the front cover. Looks really good. And then we've got, oh, it's little Jonesy, most sensible cast member. And we've got an egg on one side. The Nostromo, wonderful looking ship. And there's the old alien fella. Let's have a look at the back of the box. So, we've got the Wayland Yatani, or Wayland in Alien, Yatani, and then incoming transmission. A perfect organism. Um, so it's a little bit of a write up about sort of the film plot so you can choose from five final missions blow it out of the airlock um, you get a series of little plastic figures which I must admit look amazing I hope I don't know what size they are probably about that sort of size I would think um, Ash he looks like he's actually just it's probably a cardboard piece um, so you got the aliens so you obviously can't have Kane which is a shame because you don't get the full crew. So Kane isn't there because he's dead already. But you get his son, Junior. And like I say, Ash seems to be a half cardboard piece. Um, so you get game board, crew cards, crew figures, alien figure, morale tracker. Mm, I could do with one of them. Um, oh yeah, an Ash standy. So it might be quite a big thing. Um, what's interesting, crew, one to five, so you can play it solitaire, which is amazing. I love solitaire games. So uh, let me get this out and we'll have a look. Wow, that's the first thing you notice when you open the box. is a massive hissing Jonesy painting. That is brilliant. Uh, it would be great if in Oh, they do look. You can see the alien in his reflection in his eye. Oh, that's so good. Nice clean teeth, yep. I presume that's the board. Yeah. Oh, so it's a couple of bits there. So we've got the board. Um, doesn't know there's anything else. We'll have a look at the board in a minute. Put it on the floor. So we've then got instruction sheet. There you go. We'll have a look at that. Arthur Dallas. Is that his name? Arthur. I don't think of him as an Arthur. Arthur! Uh, you get some card pieces. So it looks like, I don't know, cogs. Oh, there's Ash and there's the alien. Ash looking creepy. See, if it had glowing eyes like that, it'd been a dead giveaway. Uh, Self-destruct module. And then on the other side we've got like the tracking devices, flamethrower. Coolant, lots of good stuff. We can open that up as well. Uh, so we've got some cards, which I'll get out, and then the playing pieces. So let's get this stuff out. Okay, so you get set various sets of cards. So objective cards, you get a few of them. So task, bring an incinerator to the nest. All crew members in workshop. Lovely old Parker. Bring incinerator to airlock. So these are obviously the the uh, objectives in the game. Then you get some action cards. So you can pick up, drop, use, craft different scraps. So it looks like it might have a bit of a resource collection part of this game. And then this is encounters. So alien hunt, alien hunt. Alien Stalk. So he's also going through the corridors. Lost the signal. So these are different different things happening. Let's pop them to one side. And then we get these are final missions. So these are the five different missions, I think. Escape on the Narcissus. So your final objective is to get Coolant and escape. 
blow up ship. Burn ash. Didn't didn't happen in that room, I don't think. Um, cut off every bulkhead and every vent. Blow it into space. Um, then, oh, we fell on the floor. That's good. Then we also get uh, crew cards. So this is Ripley. Nice artwork, and then it's a place to put all your different parts. It's quite a thick card. So we've got Dallas. Dallas. And we've got Brett. What does it tell us about Brett? Oh, he's got special abilities. Parker. Lambert. Excellent. Um, let's have a look at the figures and then we'll have a look at the board. Actually, let's look at the figures last. Let's have a look at the instructions and the board. Instructions. Transmission from US CSS Nostromo. Arthur. I can't, I can't picture him with Arthur. Um, so it gives you all the playing pieces. How to set up the board. Oh, the board looks good, right? We'll have a look at that in a second. All the different bits and bobs, setting it up, and then what to do on the turns. At least this isn't like 30 pages long, so hopefully it's not too complicated. So you can pick up items. I'm presuming it's turn based. Encounter phase. Surprise attack. You can just listen to the music, can't you? Um, and then evidently the uh, the ash part is an extra, so you can play play the game without him and then play him with it, and he, he throws a spanner in the works. So let me unfold the board. Okay, so the board is really big. Um, so there's crew morale. Um, different start places so you can be lost crew and then you get a blueprint the board is a blueprint of the Nostromo which I've always wondered how it all fits together so there's the landing leg ladder but that's the landing leg part I'm not sure whether this follows this little vehicle follows the actual film so you got med bay and then coming off med bay you got various corridors going to different areas there's the uh, the little birds and then off of that you've got the bridge that doesn't look like the bridge there's only two seats um, then you've got a uh, mother I don't know what that is bedroom did they have their own rooms they didn't did they they all slept together in that thing the galley uh, there's a map in there's drummer so an absolutely lovely board um, so I'm so happy with this game. There's Jonesy. Let's fold it up. I'm so happy with this game. It's a really uh, a lot of effort gone into it. Um, and the best thing to last, we're going to look at the figure. So let me just drop in everything at the moment. Let me move this board, and we'll have a look at the figures. Let me just get them out. Okay, so these look stunning. Such good detail on them. They're about 135th scale, 132nd. I might get another set of the game just to paint them up. They're nicely done. Joiner. So that's Brett. Dallas. Nice unusual pose from Dallas. We've got Ripley in a jumpsuit. Lambert, who I think is touching her earpiece, but it does look like she's bouncing her hair. There. Dodgy uh, cowboy boots. And then we've got Parker, one of my favourite characters. A little bit of flash on Parker, but I can tidy it up. That's a nice figure. And then finally we get the alien. Apologies for that. And we get the alien. That's a nice figure as well, isn't it? That's really good. So this is an excellent looking game. I'm gonna have a look and try and do a solo campaign 
um, on this one just to see how it goes. Um, and if not, it'll be a Christmas game to play with the wife. Uh, this is great. Ravensburger, you're doing some good stuff at the moment. Carry on. Do some more film licenses. Now, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can if you want to see more board games, especially classic ones. I've got an absolute shed load of them. Um, so if you want to see them, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.